thank you for joining us today. My name is Nathan Garner. I'm the project manager at Dynamic CCTV. And today I'm joined by Dominic Watson, who's the business development manager for Ajax Systems. We're going to go through a few different things today. Dom's going to go through like an Ajax induction as a company and some of the newer products. Myself's going to cover the current product line and also a live demo of the system. We will have a Q&A session at the end, so if you have any questions, we can come on to those at the end of the session as well. For now, I'll hand over to Dom and just introduce Ajax Systems and what they can do as an alarm system. Morning, everybody. Um, thank you, Nathan, for, for having me. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this morning. As Nathan says, my name is Dominic. I'm the Ajax Systems Business Development Manager for the north of the UK. I'm going to go through a brief introduction to Ajax Systems with you and then pass you back over to, to Nathan to have a, a more in-depth look at some of our products and do a live demonstration. So Ajax Systems is a professional wireless security system. The company was founded in 2011 in the Ukraine in Kiev by our CEO, Alexander Konotopsky. And we currently have five patents on uh, unique features of our systems. We manufacture all of our own intruder products, fire prevention, uh, flood prevention, home automation, and uh, power management. And we have third party integration through to some of the world's leading DCTV manufacturers, such as Hick Vision, Dahua, and Uniview. Uh, we currently produce 220,000 uh, products per month with a team of over 807 people, around 700 based out of our main office and factory facility in Kiev and about 100 sales reps worldwide too. We currently have 27 devices in our product range. And as I say, Nathan, I'll go through those with you in a little bit more detail in a short while. We now sell into 94 countries worldwide. 12 months ago when I joined the company, that was 70. So we, we've grown significantly just in that short time and we expect to do so again over the course of the coming months as well. Over half a million people worldwide currently protecting their properties with Ajax systems and almost 90% of those would recommend uh, our products onto their friends and families according to independent reviews on Trustpilot. Uh, Ajax systems helps uh, scaling your security business and is very very easy to sell. The reason being it's not a complicated product to, to understand. Uh, the software keeps everything very simple, very intuitive. People know exactly what they're paid for with our systems. Our products suit any style of interior I know that a lot of installers out there that tell me they, they install some of our competitor brands uh, arrive on site and the first thing they do is look for somewhere, uh, perhaps a cupboard under the stairs or in the loft somewhere, they can hide the control panel. Uh, one of the main things that you notice about our products, first glance, is how aesthetically appealing they are, much more in keeping with the sort of products that people are used to having in their homes in this day and age. Everything uh, on the Ajax system is run through either our mobile applications, which are available on Android or Apple, or through our desktop applications and, and programs as well, which are, again, available through Microsoft uh, Windows and also through Apple Mac as well. Through those applications, you can connect devices, configure settings, uh, test the detectors, uh, configure automation scenarios, a whole host of other things as well. And with regards to the, the end user applications, they can arm, disarm the system, check the status of the system through the end user application as well. In terms of the installer, we do away completely with standing at a control panel and typing in long-winded programming codes to configure devices. Everything is done at a simple touch of a fingertip on the application. We're always updating the applications with new features and experiences, including surveillance camera integration, as I mentioned before, Hike Vision, Dahua, Uniview, automation scenarios is something we added recently and are uh, looking to expand with uh, integration pieces through to some of the world's leading integration platforms, automation platforms, have direct communication through to central monitoring stations. And again, we're co continuously working on integration pieces with some of the world's leading monitoring station software pro providers. Ajax is innovation. The system is reliable, resilient to attacks and make sure that the owner knows exactly what's going on and that the monitoring station or ARC can always ensure the, the integrity of the property at all times. We have a range of different hub choices for, for different purposes with multiple choices for paths of interconnectivity. Even with our basic hub offering dual path connectivity in Ethernet and a, a GSM data SIM card. The hub plus offering Ethernet, Wi-Fi and dual SIM card. And the hub two offering an Ethernet and a dual SIM option as well. We got our, have various choices for whether or not people may want visual alarm verification and also dependent on the number of devices 
the number of groups, the number of users that you may want on any specific system. I'll leave that to, for now. I know that Nathan, as I say, is going to go through some of the, the hardware range with you in uh, a little bit more detail further on in the presentation. Ajax is resistant to radio signal inter interception and forgery, hacking, that kind of thing, through an AES encryption with a floating key. In addition, there's two-way communication between the hub and all devices at all times with that device authentic authentication. So the hub's permanently checking the serials on those specific devices to make sure that the right device is on the system and that there's been no attempt to hack into the system by, by replicating one of our devices on the network. The devices frequency hop as well to find the cleanest channel that, that they can broadcast on and there's a hardwired network connection option on all of our hub choices too. Alarms are sent from the hub to both the end user and also the CMS or archive that you're connected through to on in 150 milliseconds. And notifications are sent through simultaneously to both of those. Those notifications can be received via a push notification, via a SMS text message or via a call and we guarantee alarm delivery by offering dual path of, of signaling from both the hub direct to the, the end user's mobile phone and via the Ajax cloud as well. The status of each device is displayed in real time at all times and the server can determine loss of communication with, with any device on the system in, in less than a minute. The system can be managed, configured and tested from anywhere in the world with no additional setup and can all be done through the app. Incredibly informative notifications. So if you've got a device, for example, that can um, detect multiple types of uh, alarm detection, for example, our door protect plus will detect shock sensor and also with door or window contact of, of the opening. It will send a signal through telling you which room that device was in, which detector it was, and exactly how that device was, was activated. So whether it was by shock or by tilt, etc. It'll send notifications through for power failure, for internet connectivity loss, for battery failure, tamper, uh, and tell you exactly who has armed the system and how they've armed the system, what time that was done at. Installation costs are minimal. Uh, one installer can easily install one of our systems in an average house in an hour or two. Uh, with sort of no need for, for companies to invest in massive uh, training to switch over to the Ajax brand from whatever brand they're currently installing. Basic instructions training is, is more than enough to be able to install one of our systems. Should anything go wrong, obviously, as I've already mentioned, all co configuration settings can be changed remotely as well. So that's something that can be done from the company's office remotely uh, after the installation should, should they need to do so. Jeweler radio technology that communicates to the devices from the hub and our wings protocol as well, which communicates from the uh, hub to our motion cams to transmit and back again to transmit the uh, images on the motion cams. It offers far better range than most of the other signal protocols that are available on our competitor brands such as Z uh, Z-Wave and Zigbee. So when you install on our site, there's a much greater chance that you, you might not need a, a repeater, but should you do so, we do offer Rex unit, which is a ra range extender as well. Devices can be connected to the hub in just 15 seconds by simply scanning a QR code. I'm sure when the guys do the live demonstration uh, in a short while, they'll show you a live example of that. But this means it's really simple and quick to connect all of your devices to the system and then be able to configure them very quickly through the app as well. We use smart brackets to mount the, the devices, so there's no need to disassemble any of our products to be able to mount them to the wall. And we use the same bracket for mounting, whether you mount it to the corner or whether you're mounting flush to a wall. All of our intruder devices are tampered, so if they're pulled away from the wall, pulled away from the bracket, then that will pair a tamper notification and an alarm as well. The system is very easy to maintain. As I said before, settings can be adjusted remotely. Device testing doesn't require disassembly, and the batteries that come in the devices can last for up to seven years, depending on usage. The system is compatible with most of the popular platforms used by the monitoring stations in the UK, Bold, Patriot, to name a couple, and we can communicate to any CMS or ARC software platform via SIA protocol, DC09, the latest version of SIA, or by contact ID. If your monitoring station of choice doesn't use one of those main software platforms, um, they may use a legacy system or, or, or something slightly quirkier, then we are able to provide them with a piece of software called the Ajax Translator. We can communicate from the hub to the Ajax Translator sitting on their network via encrypted signaling, and then we translate that via the Ajax Translator into whatever format they want it in at the other end. So even if your monitoring station of choice doesn't necessarily know of Ajax as yet, or the software that they're using doesn't necessarily accept our signaling, that, that's not to say that we can't work with that monitoring station, get in touch with us if that's the case 
and I can assist with, with communicating with them to get that sorted out. The pro application will take up to 3,000 hubs. You can quickly search through those hubs, a name search or a hub ID search, and remotely configure the hubs from there, test all the hubs, so detectors on, the, uh, on that particular hub from the software as well, as well as managing access levels and viewing a history of events uh, uh, within the application as well. The Desktop Pro, as I said before, available on both Windows and Mac, does all of the same things that the mobile application, the mobile Pro application will do, but has additional features for monitoring as well. So any installer that wants to self-monitor their systems can do so through the Desktop Pro uh, very quickly, very easily, and completely free of charge. You can manage access rights very quickly from within the app as well. So if you, for example, have a engineer going back out to do a maintenance call on a, a specific hub a specific site on any given day, you can grant them temporary access of that system for a few hours whilst they're on site, helping increase security of all the hubs that you're managing uh, for your company. We reduce the number of visits by rapid response teams by minimizing false alarms. This saves you money and also lets the client rest easy that they're not going to be getting call outs uh, or calls from the monitoring stations, calls from response teams unduly. Everything we do is about having multiple paths of connectivity, multiple paths of communication at all times. So there's a minimum of two-way communication between the control panel and the devices, as there is between the, the hub and the central monitoring station. And the internet connectivity is anything from two to four paths of connectivity at all times, with the basic hub having ethernet and GSM SIM and the hub plus offering Wi-Fi and uh, dual SIM slots in addition. You can always see the state of each device that's on a system at all times with information coming back from each device with regards to the signal level, battery life, temperature, tamper, that kind of thing. A simple glance, you can get an overview of each device in your system and make sure that they're all performing correctly as they should be. The hub can detect a loss of any device on that system within just 36 seconds. You can adjust the ping rate with which the, the hub will ping each device from within the app and bring that down to a minimum of 12 seconds. The hub will check that devices there will ping it every 12 seconds then and on a third negative response a device uh, isn't communicating it will then activate a, a, an alarm and a notification to let people know that that particular device has dropped off the network you can get confirmation back from a, each device when you've asked it to to execute a certain command with two-way communication so again you can see at a glance from the app that anything you've asked the system to do has responded accordingly devices will auto tune to find maximum range, best connectivity from the hub through to each specific device on that network, on that system. And um, you're able to uh, change the device settings, as I say, from the mobile app without disassembly as well. Currently, I have 27 different products in our product range, and I'm now going to pass you back over to Nathan to go through those with you in a little bit more detail and tell you about some of the features of those devices too. I'm just going to take a brief look at some of the different devices that are available on the Ajax side of things, which we're going to run through now. One of the most popular ones now is the motion cam for visual alarm verification. So if an alarm comes through, it can be configured so it will also actually show through images. It can be joined up together, um, depending on the configuration that you've done on the app, um, which will also show when we go into the live demo. So here we've got the Hub 2 and also the motion cam that's currently available from ourselves. The actual motion cam is only compatible at the moment with the Hub 2 unit, with the actual system itself. Uh, the motion cam is a wireless motion detector, but, and it also has the pet immunity as well. So it's great for use in houses and stuff that do have small animals there. So there's two different communications that the actual motion cam uses. The jeweler is the two-way radio communication for the actual alarm handling within the system. The wings is for rapid image delivery to the actual hub itself from the detector. It will guarantee the data that's delivered and it will also transmit the animated image series that you can configure, which will show on the settings on the live demo. And the first image delivery is within nine seconds of the alarm being triggered on that system. So the Hub 2 itself, this alerts you about any threats on the system, has channel interference or malfunctions. It allows the transmission of the photos from the motion cam detector into the Ajax apps when you use that's logged into the actual system. 
it checks the functionality of the actual detectors just basically say hello are you there every 12 seconds to make sure everything's fine on the detectors themselves and it will deliver the alarms in 0.15 seconds from when they're triggered. This unit uses three independent communication channels. So you've got ethernet connection and two 2G SIM card slots for the unit for backup. And it can operate for up to 16 hours after mains power loss using the inbuilt battery. And the snapshots will allow you to send one to five snapshots, which can be viewed individually or in a loop, um, depending on the settings that you have configured. So these are a few of the different tech specs of the actual hub itself. So it runs on OS Malovich for the actual system. It's using the Jewler radio technology with the encryption, the communication between the hub and the detectors. The speed of the alarm delivery to any of the CMSs that the unit is added to. There's delivery verification of anything that's sent from the system, which can help with anything there and it will block encrypt using AES algorithms as well for the communication. The motion cam itself, you can see in the dark it does have uh, IR on the actual unit itself. It will ignore pets and it will operate up to a distance of 1700 meters from the hub and the battery will operate for up to four years using the pre-installed batteries in the unit and the actual pet immunity will work up to pets up to 50 centimetres in height using the smart algorithms on the actual unit itself. So Ajax have considered the privacy when using the motion cam as it's taking captures when detection is triggered. So it will only take snapshots if the detector is triggered from the camera. The users and the security company have no way to access the camera in request to take pictures. So it'll only be if an alarm event's triggered and four ores are fully encrypted during transmission and they are stored to the Ajax cloud and the can only trigger if the unit is armed and the actual sensors triggered before the captures are taken. So this is how they'd come through on the app. So that's the snapshot come through from the motion cam itself using the Ajax app, which is available on Android and iOS, and also on the Ajax Pro desktop software for Mac OS and Windows. And the image quality of the actual snapshots it can send through are up to 640 by 480 on the resolution. So these are just some of the tech specs for the motion cam itself. So the actual range it's working at is up to 12 meters with a resolution of up to 640 by 480 and up to five four ores can be taken per single alarm. The actual weight of the pet immunity is up to 20 kilos or a height of up to 50 centimeters. And it takes two CR123A batteries, three volt which do come pre-installed in the unit when they're purchased. And it will work down to not degrees up to plus 40 degrees as the working temperatures. So we're just going to take a quick look at the automation scenarios that can be done through the actual Ajax apps and the Ajax systems. So there's a few different types of scenarios that we can do. We can have alarm reactions, which is flood prevention, cut off power in, the, in case of a fire alarm detected, or spotlight and trespassers using lights linked to the system. You can also schedule actions through the scenarios which will allow you to schedule the night mode, any home activity simulations, and also turn on the heating if you wanted through the Ajax system. There's also the security mode change reactions. So turn off lighting in certain sockets when arming the system. So if you arm the system, it'll turn off lights in your house or the sockets that you use in the Ajax sockets or any art Mac doors as well. So to use these kind of things, you've got the wall switch which is a wireless power relay with an energy monitor. The wall switch itself can switch up to 230 volt AC mains voltage, be installed in the back box BS standard wall socket, which can switch up to a load of 13 amps. The relay itself works on a dry contact relay, which can switch up to five amps at 36 volt DC and can be operated manually or as part of a scenario, or even when the alarm's triggered on the system. And there's also the socket, which isn't available currently in the UK just yet. So with the automated con automation control, you've got the 
panic button, which is a physical unit which can be added to the system. Um, so that can alert a security company or patrol company of a possible breaking or intruder when someone actually uses that panic button um, within the home to trigger the system. Within the control mode on the button, you can actually configure it so it'll turn off the lights or switch on specific home appliances and that will work at a range of 1300 meters and it's encrypted using a modified version of the AES algorithm. So it is really powerful through it and the apps are all free for both Android and iOS. There isn't a charge for the apps themselves. Depending on the actual hub that you have depends on the amount of scenarios that you can actually use on the system. So for the basic standard hub, it's up to five scenarios. And then on the Hub 2, it's 32 scenarios. And the Hub Plus is 64 scenarios on there. So these are just gonna be a few examples of the different scenarios that, be, that you can implement. So for example, if you had scheduled night mode, this would arm the perimeter of the property at specific time zones and automag disarming um, at the end of that actual system. And that will help with any false alert false alarm emergency call outs to the site. There's also the flood prevention system. Um, so this uses the leaks protect unit um, that we sell that will link to a relay and that could operate an electro valve to shut off the water. The leaks protect will work as soon as uh, water leaks detected from the first drop of the actual system and using the scenario, you can automatically shut down running water to prevent any flooding. You can also use um, automatic doors and roll the shutters with the scenarios. So if you arm the system on your mobile phone, you can have a relay trigger an electric lock, or you could also have a schedule with a wall switch that opening or closing a roller shutter on the property itself. You can also use it in conjunction with your standard motion protect detectors. You've got the outdoor unit pictured here, which is linking up to a wall switch. So in this scenario, what would happen is if the motion protect is triggered by a trespasser on site, the wall switch will trigger, which would turn on the outdoor lighting. It'd be really useful as a deterrent as well. So with the home activity simulations, you can schedule specific times in order for plugs to switch on. And if you use the wall switch, which would wire into your lighting system, you can have that set to a schedule so it'll automatically turn on the lights during specific times that you've configured for the system. And that's just an example of the actual app itself with the system already added, which we're gonna come on to a live demo in just a second. Well, that's so you can just see there how you can actually add in the system to create your specific scenarios. And then that's a scenario set up on the actual app itself. So it's nice, quick and easy and it's a simple thing to do, but it can be quite powerful um, depending on how that system is implemented. So what we've also got is the multi-rex, which can be used to extend the actual range of the system from the standard. This can extend the radio coverage up to 16 kilometers squared. Alarms communicated are within 0.3 seconds. It will notify you if anyone's trying to jam or tamper with any of the devices. And all the data is encrypted with AES-256. And it will function for up to 35 hours after a main's power outage. The REX unit itself runs on OS Malevich and is capable as the hub is. The intelligent extender manages its connected devices and makes critical decisions in the blink of an eye. The capabilities and the role of the Rex in the security system continue to evolve with the free OS Malevich updates from Ajax, which are available for all users. So there's no charge for any of the updates to the actual software that runs the units, including the Rex and the hub itself. So as standard, between a standard hub and the detectors, you can have a distance of up to 1800 meters. With a Rex, we can put that up to 3600 meters for the actual system. So this allows two-way communication between the devices and it does have a built-in battery backup, which can last for up to 35 hours if the power is lost on site. But the Rex does not support the motion cam this is only for standard detectors, not the motion cam itself. So the Rex, you can use multiple Rex units. So you can get a square spacage of up to 35 kilometers squared using multiple units. 
from the hub. So this boosts the range of all the Ajax security system devices and manages their communication with the hub. The intelligent radio signal range extender enables users to place Ajax devices at a considerable distance from the hub, protect multiple story offices, attach buildings and even production plants. And you can connect up to five REXs to a single system. With these units, so this is how they, they would look with the REX units added in. Um, so the standard hub can only have one REX unit with up to nine, nine devices. Hub Plus can take five REX units and that will give you a total of 145 devices that can be connected to the unit. And the Hub 2 will also support five REX units with a total of 95 devices altogether. And this allows you to design a long range wireless mesh for your Ajax system. So now we're gonna take a quick look at the live demo, which my colleague is just gonna switch over to share the mobile phone screen now. So we can actually do a live demo of the system. As you can see there, this is in the Ajax Pro app. We've already got our hub added to the system. So the first thing we're gonna do is add in a room. So this is where we'd assign the actual devices to. So we're just gonna call this one test room for now. and then save that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and add our first device. So the first device that we're gonna add is the motion cam detector, which is really simple. All we need to do is give it a name and then we just have to scan the QR code on the back of the unit, which you can see there. And then we'd assign that unit to a room, which for this we're calling ours test room. And then we add that in. And we do need to reboot the unit in order for it to connect into the system which should then come online any second now. Just try re adding that again. Everything goes smoothly when you do the pre-webinar, but as soon as you go live, something always goes wrong. So I've got in the test room. One. So what we'll do is we'll go on to add in our door contact, which is a similar setup. So we're just going to call this door contact and then scan the QR code on the back of the door contact and assign it to our test room. And then we're just going to click the add button and this should then add it into our system. On my app there, when I've refreshed my screen, the iron has been detected on the actual system. Going to our dynamic hub and go to our devices. So you can see our motion cam and the door contact that are added in there. And so my colleague can now just move on to adding the panic button and the key fob unit as well. So this, for the actual panic button itself, it's slightly different. We have to hold down the actual button on the unit for seven seconds in order to add it into the system itself, which will then assign it to our unit, has done it on our system. We've got those three units added in. What we can then do is go into the settings of them. So if we go into the motion cam, you can see there we have the statuses of the actual unit itself. So you can see it's detecting the temperature within the room of motion cameras 23 degrees. It's also giving us the jeweler signal strength. And what we can do is we can go in and configure a delay. So if someone enters a room and the detector is activated, we can set a delay of say five seconds. So once it's triggered, it will wait five seconds before it actually triggers the alarms. This would give someone chance that they're entering the property again in order to disarm the system if they needed. And we can also set the image resolution there. So there's a few different options, the resolutions we can set, um, depending on what we're requiring there. And we can also send the number of photos that are sent in series when these are triggered. So we can send up to a series of five from the alarm being triggered. We can also, on that setting screen, you can see the arm in night mode section. 
which would allow you to have that specific detector armed during the night if you require so you can configure it so it's like a smaller armed system on a night so you wouldn't want your upstairs detectors activated in the night but you'd want all of your downstairs detectors activated or armed on a night as an example so if we go back from that page and then we can go into our door contact so within here these are the door contacts that you'd use on the system for example if you had a front door on a property you wouldn't want the door detector to treat the alarm as soon as someone opens it or else when you enter the property and you try and disarm the system again unless you've got the key fob with you it's going to trigger the alarm system so you can set a delay on that which is similar to how you would have with an ordinary alarm system it's also available in the AJAX system as well and um, depending on what you're going to do with the system there what we can also do is I'm just going to trigger a virtual panic alarm so I'm also logged into our AJAX app on my mobile here and what I can do is I can trigger a panic alarm and what that will do is send out a notification to anyone that's ad logged in with the account so you can see there I've pressed the panic button it's showing on my colleague's screen there and if he clicks on the notification it will give you the exact location of where I am and that I've actually triggered the panic button which is useful for anyone that's logged into the app especially uh, families or anything like that anyone's logged into the system if they're in stress or anything they can trigger that virtual panic button and anyone that's logged into the system will receive that event what I'll do is I'll hand back over to Dom uh, who will go through some of the new and upcoming technologies that are coming out in the next few months there thank you very much the forthcoming releases coming up over the course of the next couple of months. Very excited about some of these myself, as I'm sure some of you guys will be as well. First one, and perhaps one of the most important thing that I've had the most objections about since selling, starting to sell Ajax last summer from installers was the fact that our street siren wasn't brandable. So many installers that I've sat in front of have said, yes, they absolutely love our system, they love our software, they love the devices. But if they can't put their logo on the exterior of somebody's property on our siren, then our system isn't for them. So we've listened to that, we've done something about it, and our R&D team have come up with the street siren double deck. It maintains the same shape and dimensions as the original street siren with the LED around the outside, obviously to maintain some, some brand identity with the, the current Ajax siren. Uh, but whereas the existing street siren had a silver mesh or a black mesh over the front of it to look more like a speaker, as you can see from the picture there, this particular variant of the, the siren has a removable front plate. Those front plates can be uh, screen printed or, or stickered by the installers themselves. When purchasing these, you will be able to either have them purchase the plates in packs of 10 yourself to buy from the distributors, or if you buy multiple packs, we will actually screen print those for you. I'll give you a little bit more information on that in a moment. As per the original Street Siren, the volume is 85 to 113 decibels, a distance of one meters. It's tampered via an accelerometer if it's ripped from the wall. And also there's a tamper switch that sits in between the brand plate and the siren itself as well. So if somebody rips the brand plate off the front, that will also trip an alarm as well. IP54 rated uh, and it's available in black or white. As I said, said a moment ago, the brand plates themselves would be available to buy blank in packs of 10 from Dynamic, should you wish to, to have those screen printed yourself or stick those up yourselves. This, the actual siren itself comes without a cover, uh, either uh, on its own or as part of a kit. And should you order four or more packs of those brand plates, uh, we'll actually screen print those for you in Kiev free of charge. Another release coming up over the course of the next couple of months is a, a HUD for the Motion Protect. This increases the IP rating of the Motion Protect outdoor for extreme weather uh, and also assists with anti-masking as well. This is another product that I'm very excited about being released, the Ajax Multi-Transmitter. At present, the Ajax Transmitter that we have that enables you to send a, an alarm signal for a, a single device back to the hub. Great for things like if you've got a single roller shutter door on a, on a site and you want to use a, a, a grade three hardwired metal industrial roller shutter contact, our existing transmitter um, will send the signal 
uh, and the tamper for that one device back to the hub with no problems at all. But in situations where you've got multiple hardwired devices on a, uh, a system that you might want to upgrade, it's obviously not convenient to be putting five, six, seven different single Ajax transmitters onto each of those devices to send the signal back to our hub. So the Ajax multi-transmitter solves that problem. It's brilliant for updating any uh, legacy hardwired systems that might not have any comms whatsoever. So uh, as an installer, if you're going out to do a quote for somebody that's got a, a 10, 15 year old hardwired system in place, you can quite easily rip out the existing control panel, put the Ajax multi-transmitter in its place. The Ajax multi-transmitter will then communicate via Joola protocol with a hub and then on from the hub to end user applications to your Ajax Pro application for you to monitor that and onto third party monitoring stations as well. So a very quick and easy way to update antiquated legacy alarm systems and bring them in line with uh, all the features and benefits that you get from, a, from an Ajax system at present. And that has 18 input outputs which you can use for alarm or tamper input and outputs powered by 240 mains but can take a 12 volt DC battery back up in there as well and will power any of the devices that are attached to that 12 volt to a, a one amp load. The, the multi-transmitter will also enable you to, to connect devices that are normally open, normally closed or normally open end of line uh, resistor or normally closed end of line resistor. So able to use that with nearly all types of existing hardwired detectors that you might find on a, on a, on a legacy system that you're looking to upgrade. Uh, later on in the summer, we also have the Hub 2 Plus being released. The Hub 2 Plus is for use with the motion cams, as is the, the current Hub 2, but gives you all of the additional features that you get with the current Hub Plus, as in four paths of interconnection uh, connectivity, and can be used for many more devices. Up to 200 devices on the Hub 2 Plus, 200 users on the system and up to 100 cameras and DVRs with 64 scenarios and 25 groups. So from those uh, figures there, you can quite clearly see how you could use this particular hub to, to cover very, very large sites quite easily and quickly. And the, in, uh, the internet connectivity has been far improved on that as well with 4G, 3G and 2G uh, capabilities with the GSM data sim backup. Uh, Ethernet connectivity, Wi-Fi as well. The uh, the Hub 2 Plus will connect through to CMS in the same way as the existing hubs in the range via contact ID or CIA DC09 protocol, and will en enable photo verification at the via Mana 2 or SBN. We're currently working on integration projects with other platforms as well, so that um, more stations and arcs will be able to receive images from the uh, motion cams as well. Radio communication range, as with the others, all, all the other hubs in our range, uh, up to 2000 meters, working off Joola radio technology, hopping around the 868 frequencies. The wings radio technology enables the transmission of the visual confirmations from the, uh, from the motion cams. And as I said before, 2G, 3G, or your LTE, 4G, uh, Wi-Fi and ethernet. There is a, a battery backup in there. A lithium ion battery should give you up to 16 hours battery backup. And as per all of our range, uh, the Hub 2 Plus will be available in black or white. Other interesting updates and releases. As I said before, the, the biggest objection I've had from any installers since selling this product has been the fact that our siren wasn't brandable. In second place to that would be the fact that our system, whilst it's EN50131, uh, independently, independently laboratory tested to grade two standard, our system wouldn't currently conform to the PD662 standard, which is required to have systems signed off for a URN for police response. Um, we have an update coming to our uh, firmware and our software in the summer of this year which will bring all of our existing hubs in line with PD662 compliance. And obviously all future releases, all future um, hardware that's produced will be that particular standard as well. In line with that, we will have some, uh, some additional new hardware coming out, such as a two button, double press a panic button, similar to the, to the current Ajax button, which again is for conformity with PD662. There are further releases coming out later on in the year, but more, everything that I've mentioned so far in, in this section of the webinar 
are all products or, or software and firmware updates and releases that will be out within the next two to three months. So lots of exciting things to look forward to over the summer. I'll pass you back to Nathan. Thank you very much. That was great. Thank you, Dom. Just something quick there I just wanted to mention. Our tech support team offers full technical support on the AJAX systems. So if you have any queries or anything like that, we have 10 technical support members of staff that are here and willing to take your calls as soon as you ring through. We don't have a Q&R ticketing system. If you ring into our tech support line, and you'll get through one of our tech members of staff. We've also got some links on here, which will be available on the PDF with all of our slides that I'll send out to allow you to sign up to our newsletters. And also please follow our social media um, to keep up to date with anything new from Ajax and the other systems that we sell as well. And any tech updates, we do post them out from there. But now we can go on to our Q&A session. So Stephen has asked if Dynamic Plan to keep all products in good stock levels. So we are stocking the full Ajax range and we do keep good stock levels of the different devices um, for that if you'd like, like and to know the exact stock levels or if you want to order anything please contact our sales team and they'll be able to help you out with that one and Stevens also asked does the panic button actually light up on the unit and so there is a green LED light on the actual panic button which you can configure through the settings on the Ajax app for the panic button from there. So we've got one from Anonymous. Is the app free of subscriptions? Yes, all of our software is completely free of charge to download and we don't charge for any web hosting or cloud services like a lot of our competitors do. So yeah, completely free and, and we're not looking to, to, to change that moving forward. Got another question there. Uh, what type of strobe illumination does the external sound have? Uh, bear with me a second, I'll just grab one and I can show you that live. Okay, so uh, this will be the same whether you're looking at the uh, existing street siren or whether you're looking at the street siren double deck with a brand plate on. Uh, as you can see, there's an LED around the outside there. It has a running light in the top corner. And when that trips into an alarm event, it strobes like so. So let me do that for you one more time. Bear with me. The LED all the way around the outside. The running light in the top corner and an alarm event strobes all the way around the outside like so. Joel has asked, will the Ajax system be able to connect to an independent provision MBR or DVR by the network? So the way this works currently is you can log into your Hit Connect account on the Ajax app. And um, so you can bring in your cameras actually in the Ajax systems app through there, which we can, we are going to put a video together to demo that. I know Ajax have recently run a webinar covering that kind of system as well with the integration yeah and if you go onto the ajax website there's a a support section which which will guide you through connecting hike uh, mvr or dvrs to the uh, ajax applications as well i've got another question there from abdul uh, any plans for a solar siren to my knowledge not as yet i, I will forward that suggestion on to our r d team i know that when they get multiple requests through for particular features then that's uh, something that they look to action moving forwards. And I've seen that implemented uh, already just in my short time with the company, uh, requests coming through for specific features that are actually now active live working features uh, within the Ajax uh, software and applications. And another question he also posed was, is the motion cam compatible with Hub Plus unit? So it's only compatible with the Hub 2 and then the Hub 2 Plus when, once that's released uh, later in Correct. the year. Well, it's not compatible with the standard hubs. Um, Andrew Ray asks, with automatic doors or roller shutters, is that the same for automatic gates? Yes, you can you can run automatic gates or driveway gates, that kind of thing from the Ajax. Really uh, handy feature with the Ajax button as well. You two you use as an automation controller. You can link multiple relays to that specific uh, device as well. So an example would be from a single touch of the Ajax button as I'm approaching my driveway gate, would open the gate, kick the Ajax relay that would open the gate at the same time as kick the Ajax relay that puts the floodlights on above my driveway at the same time as opening my garage door as well. So I can then just drive straight into my driveway, get out of the car and start to walk to the house. And again, it's one, one simple push of the Ajax button then closes all and switches all off behind me. Availability of the Hub 12 volt power supply. 
I know that guys at Dynamic have some on order and I'm expecting those to land with them at some point over the course of the next week. So speak to your uh, your Dynamic uh, sales guys. I'm sure that they will let you know exactly when they land with them in the next week or so. On the external sound, anonymous has asked how long the battery lasts on the external siren or is there a wired version? Uh, yeah, so on the external sirens, uh, the battery life will run for, for two to five years, dependent on, on usage, obviously, as, as per any battery power device. But there is a 12 volt input on the on the back of that battery, uh, so on the back of that siren as well. So if you want to, to give it a 12 volt power supply from the start, feel free to do so. And then you're not getting back up your ladder a couple of years time to change batteries. Plans for a multi-channel relay. I believe that that is something that we're looking at in, in R&D, but it's not got a fixed date on the roadmap as yet, so I can't give you any specifics around around that. But obviously, it's a natural progression of us launching the multi, multi-channel multi transmitter. I'm sure a multi-channel relay won't be too far behind. Integration through to the smart home kits. Our R&D team are currently gathering information on different integration, <coughs> plat- uh, sorry, uh, different automation platforms from around the world and we're looking obviously at then starting integration pieces with those particular platforms uh, in order of popularity over the course of the next 12 to 24 months so yes we will be working with with different automation platforms but how quick your specific platform of choice is something that comes a live feature will depend on that particular platform's popularity i notice you've got a code with a panic button from the box. What happens if you don't have the box? So there is a, a, a QR code, all of our devices. So on some of the smaller devices, like the, the, the panic button or the fob, that code code is located actually inside the device. But obviously when you, when you first arrive on site, you take the device out of the box as new, you scan the QR code on the box, and that's the quickest and easiest way to, to pair a, a panic button or a, uh, a fob. Does the system work on radio frequency 868 if there is no? Uh, yeah, the system works completely on, on uh, 868. The, the the device, the hub talks to all of the devices on, on the system through its own radio frequencies uh, the, and the connection through to the wider internet is for connection through to the Ajax cloud and therefore onto the end users applications and through to the monitoring stations, the, the installers applications. How many activations will the external sounder be able to provide before the battery dies? Good question, Chris. I, the honest answer is I don't know. Let me run that one onto our uh, our tech support team. Come back to you on that one. As I say, an average battery life is two to five years on those sounders. I don't know precisely how many alarm activations that uh, that entails, but I will find out and come back to you on that. Any plans for a louder or larger commercial bell or siren? Steve, to my uh, to my knowledge, no. But as I think you're aware from some of our previous conversations that we've had, you can use you can use the Ajax relays to kick any particular siren of your choice, <laughs> uh, as I know that you already do. Cheeky question. <laughs> any more? For any more? Can you use the app to remotely view the motion cam without an activation. Okay, no is the answer to that, and and that's a deliberate uh, that's a deliberate feature within it. We all know that in this day and age, that to get any sort of hope of of identifying somebody that's um, broken into your property, you need some form of photographic or or video evidence. Uh, everybody is more than happy to plaster CCTV cameras around the outside of their around the outside of their property. But when it comes to putting CCTV cameras inside your home, a lot of people feel very insecure about that. Understandably, we've we've all heard the horror stories about installers logging onto people's cameras remotely uh, or people hacking camera streams, that kind of thing. So people don't feel comfortable doing whatever it is that people do in their own homes uh, if they've got CCTV in there. So deliberately, the motion cam is intended to only become active if and when the alarm is set and if there's a specific TRUDA activation on the PIR associated with that camera. So it will never take pictures unless there is a, unless there is an actual intrusion event or, or a, an alarm detection on that specific motion cam. I think we've got um, our last question from M Hill for the any integrations with the smartphone kit with 
Um, I assume with Apple or Hugh Lighton. Yeah, so I, uh, I did answer that before. I said that you know our R and D team are currently gathering information from, with regards to all of the home automation platforms worldwide. They're then collating that information and looking at which of those there is most demand for. And then over the course of the next 12 to 24 months, we'll be working on integration pieces with those specific platforms. Do PIRs use battery when not set, set picking up movement? As I said before, the hub does ping each device on a system to ensure that it's still there. And the length of time that it, that it does that can be changed from within the, the application itself, Chris. So yes, it does use battery when it's not picking up any any movement to verify that that particular uh, device is still on the, the system, but the length of time and how frequently it does that is, is programmable from, from within the app. Can you add multiple hubs on one app for someone who has multiple sites? Yes, you can, Abdul, that's not a problem at all. Um, each application can take up to 3,000 hubs and obviously each of those you can you can label differently. You can drill then into any specific hub uh, on an individual basis and arm and disarm or configure that hub accordingly. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much for that, Vlad. Um, the, uh, in answer to the question earlier about how long will the siren or how many times will the siren ring throughout that average two to five year battery life of uh, our technical pre-sales Vlad has joined in and answered that for me and the siren can ring for 11 hours continuously uh, off one single uh, set of batteries. I think this is our last question from, uh, from Steve. Is the motion cam going to be an outdoor variant? I, I believe that the that an outdoor variant of the motion cam is something that's on the roadmap but, uh, but again there's no fixed date for it as yet so we're probably looking at some point next year I would think Steve. As soon as I've got uh, further information on that I will uh, I will obviously share that with you all. Thank you for joining us today. If you've got any questions or if you would like Dom's contact details you send me an email over I can pass those on for any queries that we can answer ourselves. And thank you for taking the time to join us today. And thank you for Dom and Ajax for helping us put this together for our customers today as well. Indeed, thank you very much for uh, for joining us, guys, and thank you very much for inviting me to take part. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.